yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Matt Jeffrey, the owner of Alchemist Skate. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of review on the, the Micro MT Plus. What can I say? It's a really cool, cool skate. We have these in red, yellow and blue. This is what Micro would probably call their kind of budget skate that they, out of their range of skates that they have. But it's a very quality, very quality boot. So this is actually made in the same factory as Seba skates. So the mold of the boot is essentially a Seba, made in the exact same place from the same molds. What makes it different and what probably makes it cheaper is things like the frame, the wheels, the buckles, the liner, all things that you can change. If you're an experienced rollerblader, if you're an experienced skater, and you're thinking about getting the MT Plus, you're probably gonna to wanna to change a few things, being the liner, the frame, and the wheels. But if you're a beginner, this is an awesome skate to get. Absolutely awesome skate. It's of a high standard, it's pretty damn cool. And yeah, let's take it out for a spin and I'll give you a better review after. So all round, pretty impressed with the skate to be honest. I had a really fun time on them. Being new to skating big wheels, skating over, you know, bits of pavement that are uneven and not having to worry about it. Like that stuff's awesome. Just kind of rolling down hills, rolling through the bowl. That was all really sick. I did try a few grinds on them, which completely defies the point, I think. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't know. But um, yeah, I tried to do a few Macchios which obviously you can only do on the front part of your foot so you kind of have to do it with your heel up in the air but i did try that overall i mean the skate was really comfortable um i was saying before that you know if you're an experienced skater that you probably want to change the liner i'd probably say that that's true but i had no issues with the liner i mean it's quite a well-built liner it's not going to be as good as an intuition but for what it is I think it's fine. I had, I had no issue at all with the liner. Having the the buckle on the ankle really helps. Really gives you that extra support and just kind of makes it, it makes the skate feel more responsive. This one's actually the this is a 43, so it's actually a nine. If I'm skating the skate park and I want a smaller boot, I'll deal with having a bit of toe pain. It doesn't really bother me that much. I'll deal with it. But if I'm skating around the road and it's gonna be bumpy pavement, that's the last thing I want. So I went for the nine, um, which is true to my shoe size. And it was perfect. Things that I think could be improved um, with this skate is definitely the buckling system. The issue that I had is that if you're gonna tighten the skate, if you go quite tight, then it's actually quite hard to get when your foot's in there these things crash into each other the two the two things there crash into each other so it can be hard to close it so you kind of have to get it right and place one underneath the other <laughs> which you can see even when i don't have it on can be tricky and then and then you're fine you're good to go but it's kind of a, there's a little bit of a knack to it 
But other than that, that's really it. That's my only issue with the skate. That's my thoughts on the Micro MT Plus. If any, if anyone has these skates, please tell me what you think, um, good or bad. Let me know what you think. Please do subscribe to the channel if you don't already. We're a new channel. This is our second video. There's going to be a lot more videos coming your way. So hit the little subscribe button down there so that you can see all of our future videos. If you don't follow us on Instagram, then you can find us at Alchemist Skate. It's the same on Facebook. If you haven't been on our website, make sure to go to www.alchemistskate.com. Thank you very much and keep skating.